Am I just going for this? Well, I suppose we nailed it. I'm pretty sure we actually managed to get the uh, double lung shot with him hiding in the bushes like that. He was just on the way to fade out with the outline as well. So um, that was actually kind of interesting. In level 9, legendary grizzly bear. Have quite a few of these as well as diamonds, but um, might as well just take it once the uh, opportunity presents itself. What does a level 9 grizzly bear end up scoring then? Oh, this could actually be like a killer screenshot, I think. Let's just uh, try to get all this off. That could look really good. Happy with that. Okay, enough of uh, playing David Attenborough. Let's just see. It is just a gold. Point one! Ah! Point one away from diamond. Hot dang! Just picked up the legendary and over there we have a mythical one. Let's see if we can uh, get that boy down as well. That is definitely going to be a double long shot. Not an issue to have that thing go down then. Quite a lot of bears up here, but let's just check the final spot over here. Come on, give us something good. And no. Just small bears, unfortunately, but uh, the river system here on the Yukon definitely pays off again. If you haven't checked it out, guys, it is down here. Just spawn in at that lodge at 5 in the morning, run over here, spot this entire area. It is really, really good for grizzly bears. Just how big was this mythical? I'm pretty sure we ended up doing the double long shot on. Right long. Oh, only single long. Oh, he was big. Big boy. Another one of our usual hotspots here on the Yukon. Just went up here to check for bison and caribou. And this, it's definitely not a diamond because it has a low weight of the uh, level 4s. But it should still be a decent gold bison. So I'm going to see if we can try to get that thing down. Oh, bad turn. Can we make something happen here? We could indeed. Just take him down a little bit faster. If there is anything that I love about Yukon Valley, it is simply the fact that it is one of the most visually stunning maps in the game. I think for me this one competes with Hirschfelden as being like the most beautiful map. But I... Honestly, I'd have to say that I think Yukon is going to take the prize, especially here in the early morning hours. It's right now just about 6 a.m. Um, where you'll find the caribou, the uh, bison and the uh, grizzly bear drinking. Oh, another four. What? There we go. And that one is going to go down as well. But uh, what do you think is the uh, prettiest map? And take into consideration that you can have Yukon looking different with the uh, different snow and such on it as well. Maybe we are going to be lucky over there. Could be something. Does not look like we have anything interesting at all, unfortunately. Nope. Let's just pick up our two, hopefully, gold scoring bisons here. But yeah. If another like outsider contender for what could be one of the prettiest maps for me, um, I gotta say Wohonga Savannah in the afternoon has a really, really special vibe to it as well. But uh, yeah, honestly, I think in pure environmental prettiness, it has to be the Yukon Valley. And uh, two pretty much identical Bisons both did make gold, but uh, both on the very, very low end of gold. Well, that guy looks to have a little bit of mass to him. Yep, that is the big weight on a level 4. I definitely want to see if we can uh, 
get a shot at him. Maybe we can even get up on top of this rock. To be able to get a somewhat decent shot at him. Shouldn't be too hard of a jump to make. At least. Nope. There we are. Did I spook him? Nah, he's there. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God dang it. Let's try again. I do want him outlined before we start shooting. There we go. Just try here. Go a little far back. And that didn't do anything. Oh, it did. It did. Liver, maybe? Not sure. I don't know. Seems it could be a single long shot as well. He did run quite a ways, but um, that doesn't really matter as long as we just got a vital. Everything should be fine on that guy. And he is down right here, so he didn't go that far at all. But yeah, we did get a uh, single lung and then intestine stomach on the next shot. A little bit bigger than the other two that we picked up, but uh, definitely not a monster. Finally a decent bison. Well, it's only a 4, but it is the big trophy score, it is the big weight estimate. So, I do believe we should be looking at a pretty decent gold. I really wish that I could just... Oh. Come on, he went alarmed. I really wish that I could just brain shot them. But uh, no, not l any longer an option. Come on, turn around, there we go. No, I don't want to take that quartering shot. He's alert. It's a wind is really messing with me right here. Come on. Ah, knew it. I knew it. Give me at least a turn, big boy. He's about 200 out now and he is nervous. But I do believe he's going to take a uh, turn. Maybe we could even go for a long shot from this angle. I'm not sure. Come on. Oh, water. Can't do that much more. Because either he's going to go out of render or he is going to make a turn now. So, Or not out of render, but go down behind the hill. Come on. I'm gonna try to see if I can do this. Does look like it actually worked. He is dropping quite fast, so I'm pretty sure we did manage to get along. And there he went down as well. That's really not a shot that I'm any kinds of comfortable taking, but um, at least in this instance it worked out pretty well. Let's just pick him up and see how big he is. 186. Not that much bigger than the uh, biggest of the small ones we had, but um, yeah, it was the biggest bison. 200 meters out, oh, liver and left lung on that shot. Not a bad shot at all. But that is it for this one. Thank you so very much for watching.